Hey guys, welcome back. Look who's here. <laughs> If you have not seen him before, this is Saranj Koyla and where have you been? Because this man is taking the world by storm and his butter chicken Goyla's butter chicken is just amazing but I'm so pleased that he's taken out some time for um coming to visit me here in the kitchen and because he was here I could not let him go without cooking something obviously of course and, of and course. thank you for having your chetna I think you live in such a wonderful place that how can I not come here I think I just come for some sunshine such so such good weather and some sea yes and uh, of course uh, to eat So what are you cooking? Oh so we are doing my grandfather's recipe. So my grandfather comes from Uttar Pradesh which is uh one of the popular states back in India and we used to make a recipe called pahadi aloo. Uh as a 13 year old kid I would stand with him every Sunday in the kitchen watching him make this recipe. It's very very earthy. It's got a lot of good old potato in it and uh the best part about this recipe is the potato is going to be whole oh, and we will use it as it is it's very very rustic and raw yeah. and i can guarantee that if you are going to cook this in your kitchen you will need at least 10 potatoes per person oh my god <laughs> okay so we've only got around 20 that's here ten of so yours. that's 10 yours and 10 <laughs> <Ten> mine <laughs> Great, that sounds good to me. So, are we not even going to peel them? So, uh, classic recipes uh, you can do either or way. I think we will peel them, okay. and then with a the fork we are going to dock them. Okay. But if you like the taste of peel, and if you get good quality potatoes, yeah. feel free to make this with the peel as well. Okay. So right now this is not the fresh season because new potatoes yeah. will be in season very soon. So let's peel them. Yeah. Done thing. Okay. So let's, let's peel, peel and let's start the recipe. So I think my peeler was in the wash this morning. Oh, that's okay. So if one person is going to peel, the other can I think start uh, chopping the onion. Okay, so uh -huh. I will get the. Ah, um, give me that clip. Correct. Yeah. So you're are you peeling. good at cooking? Ah, uh, cooking as in that's of course you're good at cooking. <laughs> chopping. We will know. <laughs> we will know. So, yeah, ah, whatever. I'm. I'll do the onions. Oh, okay. thank you. Yes, absolutely. I, uh, the audience here knows I am quite rubbish at ah, uh, chopping. Ah, okay. Perfect. I'll take the garlic. Amazing. And the ginger. So, Jita, how about you start with peeling the potatoes? Oh yes, of course, yes. Yeah. Okay. And I will chop the onions because clearly I am the better chopper here. Hundred <laughs> percent. Anyone is a better chopper than me. <laughs> Now that is a proper chef. <laughs> chef chopping. So because it's like a pahadi style recipe, yeah, you don't have to make it too fine. Okay. You can keep it a little rustic. Rustic, uh, because that also reminds you of. being in the hills it reminds you of like desi local cooking if it's too fine then it's mm. chef like restaurant mein thodi kha rahe hain ha ghar mein kha rahe hain ghar mein kha rahe so this is the quantity of potatoes we are using around well you can do the counting uh and then that's two decent size onions here are all the spices which we will go through with you in a second right now what next potatoes chef? are peeled yes onions are chopped Mm -hmm. I think it's the moment to have some fun. Yes. So this is a very this is a as I call it a family activity. Okay. You have to earn your potatoes. Oh, I see. Yes. So all you have to do is take a potato, take a fork and we dork it. Okay. And we dork it nicely from all sides. Okay. Uh you know Hindi mein we call this aloo ko guthna hai. Oh. So which means the masala needs to go right inside the potato. if a potato from the inside is after cooking like white and it looks oh. uncooked that's not a good sign okay so you got to like spend good effort and energy on this and hence uh, we would only make these on sundays oh i see so you know put the kids to work next time <laughs> yes next sunday absolutely so yeah, in fact some people would also refer to this as a sunday wale aloo Oh. So and I 
actually now i'm thinking ki this will go so well with rajma do you think of course this oh, rajma, rajma and rice some rice so oh, anyway you use your hands break oh, that big potato oh, oh. okay i'm salivating okay that's it this <laughs> sunday it is so guthna hai inko so you can use a fork you can also use a knife but fork is a easiest way to do this and also i think with the fork you get more holes yes. whereas with the knife it will just be a few dots perfect wow so the masala is really going to go deep in yes. there and they won't be plain correct Um, fully seeps in. Yes. So nicely Beautiful. done. Beautiful. Yeah. So what are we doing with these then? So I've got the the garlic, ginger, and green chili goes into the mortar pestle, and we are going to fully bash them. Okay. Take out all our anger on them. Okay. And some green chilies. We are going to. any school teacher you didn't like this God, is that's so moment. long ago i can't remember <laughs> maybe i still hold grudges <laughs> so we have done the potatoes done the onions almost done saranch to work for the ginger garlic and now we are going to move there to cook it yeah. so we are adding some mustard oil hmm. about 2 tablespoons of mustard oil okay you can also do 2 tablespoons of ghee and if you don't have both you can use normal oil but my grandfather won't be too happy with you okay let's stick with mustard or ghee no fair you because it's mustard oil yes, you will let it smoke. smoke it okay so it gets smoky so the pungency can reduce a little yeah and mustard you know when it becomes smoky yeah that's when you get that nice sort of nuttiness uh, mm -hmm. of that oil and that's what that's what really helps also mustard can take high smoking points yes. as a high smoking point so now it's time to add i'm going to reduce the flame because it's smoky enough okay it's smoky so there one teaspoon of cumin Yes. Oh, you can take that. Okay. Oh, that's okay. We add a cinnamon stick, a black cardamom, and two bay leaves. With that, we will add two teaspoons of coriander seeds, dhaniye ka dana, as we call it. This is the hero spice okay. of this recipe. Without these beautiful whole coriander seeds, it will not be as tasty. Perfect. Mm. That looks she just smells delicious yeah. already. So once this starts to pop a little is the right time for our hing okay. to go in a small pinch of asafoetida. Now our roughly crushed ginger garlic and green chili. Look at that. And you see you can see the texture of yeah. ginger and garlic still. We don't want it to be like a paste or too fine. Earthiness is very important in this recipe. Gao gao style, village mm -hmm. style. This is exactly right. Perfect. And now we pop in a whole lot of pyaaz. Pyaaz and yeah. pyaar, two things into your recipe. <laughs> Done. Yeah, now we can increase it. So, how long do we cook it now? So, yeah, we will cook these uh, onions till they are light golden. Okay. So, for about four to five minutes. Yes. And uh, you will see it will leave some oil okay. on the side. That's when we will add our leftover spices. and potato water okay. and then let it cook for 20 minutes okay perfect so guys our onions are almost like done 
I forgot to add clothes. Well, you know. You know. What so I'm going to do? add three or four right now. It's better than not adding them. Yeah. So Jitna, I think we are reaching that stage very very soon where we need to pop in the potatoes okay. and haldi. Haldi will give it that rich uh, yellow color that okay. we are looking for. Beautiful. You can see actually ki thoda the oil is, oil is uh, releasing. releasing. Look, the oil is separating a little bit and the color looks beautiful. It's going to be one hot dish with all that chili. Yeah, as in number of green chilies can vary. Yeah. We've added two. Yeah. People can add a single chili. Or no uh, chili. No chili? Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> one green chili you must add. One. Ah, okay, I think it's time for okay. Haldi. Haldi is Haldi. So, generous amount of Haldi in this. Okay. Almost like, you know how we add pinches of Haldi? In this we are almost adding half a teaspoon okay. of Haldi. So, do not hold back on Haldi. So, when does the salt? Oh. Yeah, the salt goes in now. Chetna is ready to eat the potatoes. I know. She's like, when will the other ingredients go in? Uh, amchur is going to go at the last okay. after the potatoes have cooked so we will save that for later and now I'm going to quickly stir this and now you have to look at this color change after haldi leaves this color to the onion bright popping yellow beautiful absolutely stunning mm. it almost reminds you of the spring actually yes. which is the season now it's, it's that color of the spring. And right time to take our forked potatoes. Yeah. Whole forked potatoes. Or as we call them, guthe hue aloo. Okay. Yes. So I've given you some boiling water. Beautiful. Is that okay? Before I take the boiling water, I am going to toss these potatoes in the masala. Look at the change of the color of these potatoes. And it's vegan. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. If you're not using ghee. Yes, it is vegan. It's it. Right now, this dish is vegan. Absolutely. Because you're using mustard oil. That's amazing. Right time for us to add water, hot water. So about how much? Yeah, between two cups. Okay. For twenty pieces of potatoes. Okay. Just enough to cover them. So they will now stew down for about twenty minutes. Okay. This has to be slightly runny if you okay. want to eat it with rice, and you can also make it slightly thicker. If you want to eat it with a nice roti or a flatbread, so that call is yours. We okay. like to keep it like tari, wale. tari wale. Haan. So we tari is the right word that I was looking for. So tari wale alu. So I can eat it with rice. I can enjoy it with that. So we should we cover it? Yes, okay. let's cover it. Okay, is this too big? No, that's too big as well. So if you get new potatoes, you can also pressure cook them okay. because they might take longer to cook yeah. or then you will, instead of 20 minutes, you have to cook them for 40. Yeah, the time be, almost doubles. Yeah, These will be done in 20. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. let's see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, wow. I think to check the doneness, yes. let's skewer it a little Okay. with a knife. Let's, we always check the big potato. Okay. Because if the big is done, of course the smaller mm -hmm. ones are done. Oh. Oh, oh that yeah. That's coming out just like. Oh, look, and inside there's all this yes. curry is gone in. Beautiful. That wow. is beautiful. So you've got a couple more things to add, you told me. Yes. Yes. So now would be the right time to add our raw mango powder. 
or amchur yes as we call it this will add a bit of tang okay to this recipe because there are no tomatoes yes so the khatta pan or the tang will come from amchur powder so about 3 quarter of a spoon okay is what we've added here and at the same time we are going to add a touch of sugar okay just to balance the spiciness yes. of the hotness of the spice and uh, da, 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 da. oh just here uh -huh. the hotness of the spice yes and the spiciness of the chili will get balanced by this touch of sugar okay so not too much about half a teaspoon just to balance it out that's it and in 3 minutes we will have uh, some pahadi aloo That looks extremely inviting. Generous amount of dhania on the top. So you have gila dhania, so it's yeah. sticking to your hands, which is fine. <laughs> But yeah, I think my grandfather would be really proud that Aww. we made this today in another part of the world. I know. So his pahari oh, aloo. It's all around the world. <laughs> yeah. and this recipe actually comes from his uh, small town that he used to come from called haldwani in uttar pradesh so i hope you guys enjoy our version of pahadi aloo very rustic oh and God. extremely delicious they look stunning मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड फन पार्ट राइट खाते हो ना मतलब हाँ खिलाओ यार पापा जी ही <laughs> पापा जी को पता चलना चाहिए ना मैंने समुद्र तारी यू क्वाइट ओ माय गॉड ओ हम्म Oh, that is so different to a Punjabi aloo like I. No, no. But that's what Indian food is all about. You could be it's the same ingredients, but when I cook it, it tastes completely different. This is co wow. I think what I really love about this particular recipe is, and it's not mine, so I'm not like boasting about my own recipe, but um, that tanginess of the coriander, mm. the lemony zing that it adds. and the potato thickens this sauce yeah mishmash of mm. like onion and ginger garlic mm. and you know nothing is overpowering everything is perfectly balanced so garlic ginger is and the whole spices are great guys you must try mm. it out most definitely and try it with rajma if you have time otherwise just this with some naan or some rice mm. even dare i say some sourdough would be amazing with lots of butter with this oh ho ho but please try it and mm. um yeah you can find saransh on instagram and youtube and i will see you very soon please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching if you have any questions for saransh please leave them in the Absolutely. comments below If we have enough questions, who knows? He might come back one of day. Of course, yes. <laughs> come and, and make us some Sindhi dal pakwan or anything. Oh my God! We are going to eat. Mm. Oh my God! It's so good. It's so good. Oh, so good. <laughs>